Hi, I am Sanjay Patel. Today, in this lecture, we are going to discuss what is a Boolean ring and uh, some few results about uh, Boolean ring. So, let us start uh, with the definition of Boolean ring. Let R plus dot be a ring. Okay, R is any ring. If A square is equal to A is true for every A in the ring, then R is said to be R is said to be a Boolean ring. Is said to be a Boolean ring. The name Boolean ring is a uh, Say dedicated to the mathematician George Bull, who was the founder of uh, this Boolean algebra and Boolean rings. So it is known as Boolean ring. Okay. Uh, here a square means a multiplied by a. That is uh, this multiplication operation of the ring. Okay. Let us take uh, some examples of Boolean ring. I may not prove all, everything in detail, but just uh, show you that which kind of uh, rings or what rings, which rings are, I say, Boolean rings. The simplest example, let R is equal to Z2. That means the set of residue classes modulo 2. So it has only two elements. Then this set that is z2 comma plus 2 comma dot 2 is a ring we know uh, and this is a boolean ring this is a boolean ring because uh, we know that uh, in this ring there are only two elements say 0 and 1 so 0 square that is class 0 dot 2 class 0 is equal to 0 and uh, 1 square that is 1 into 1 with respect to multiplication modulo 2 is again 1. So this is an example of a Boolean ring. We know that it is a ring so nothing to prove or you can prepare the simple uh, table also to show that it is a ring. So I can uh, take uh, plus 2 operation and the two elements class 0 and class 1 here let me draw it properly so if you take uh, like this say plus 2 operation class 0 and class 1 and here also I take class 0 and class 1 then adding this we will get 0 here 1 here uh, 1 here 1 here 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 is equal to 0 they are all say classes and same way you can do it for the second operation of multiplication since it is a finite set and small set you can prepare this kind of uh, composition table so you will get this thing in these two cases and from this you can check all the conditions what is the unity element you know it is class one zero element is the element zero so everything is there so it is a commutative ring with unity and uh, it also satisfies uh, this uh, condition that we have a square is equal to a for every a belongs to the ring z2 so therefore z2 is a boolean ring so z2 comma plus 2 comma dot 2 is a boolean ring. I will write in short boolean ring. Another uh, example which uh, I just uh, leave it to you say consider a capital S be a universal set. 
universal set means any set okay and uh, define and uh, define capital r the set r is equal to p of s p of s that is uh, power set of power set of s so what does uh, this contain it contains all the subsets of the set s so a is subset of s now on this uh, set i would like to define two operations like this so define two operations first i am defining addition and then multiplication so addition for any two elements let me write here now say a plus b if we take any two elements in this uh, r that is p of s remember elements of r are now sets they are not single numbers okay. so a plus b i would like to take as uh, the symmetric difference of a and b that is a delta b this is symmetric difference you know what is the definition of symmetric uh, difference of two sets you can also write um, in a equivalent form as this is equal to you can say a union b minus a intersection b so it is the set of all those elements which are either in a or in b but not in both or uh, you can say it is a minus b union b minus a okay so you know that thing and uh, second operation of multiplication i want to consider as a definition of um, product of two elements in this as a dot b is equal to a intersection b so simple intersection then you can show that with respect to this operation okay i am leaving it to you to verify all the conditions then through that the set uh, r that is power set of s comma the operation delta and intersection this is your plus and this is your dot is is a ring is a ring okay and uh, the question is is it uh sorry is it a boolean ring is it a boolean ring and uh, the answer is yes so i leave it to you that to prove it is a ring we can verify say, all the conditions of ring for example if you want to verify the this thing what is the zero element in this ring so let me just uh, show you one uh, uh, one uh, condition zero element means a plus zero must be equal to a and what is plus here that is uh, a delta uh, something must be equal to the set a so what should i take as zero i suggest uh, it uh, is uh, if i take uh, b is equal to i mean uh, the second set zero is equal to phi then it works as a zero element so let me put this as empty set and you know empty set is a subset of every set so empty set belongs to uh, this we have we have this phi belongs to the given power set okay this for this phi if we take a delta phi that is a union phi and minus a intersection a intersection phi then you'll get a minus phi which is equal to a so a delta phi is equal to a and similarly you can show that phi delta a 
is also equal to a so this phi is the zero element of this ring so therefore zero is phi in the ring p of s okay what about the negative element every element is the negative of itself say for any element for any, any element a belongs to the power set okay if i take uh, a plus a that is uh, that is you know it is a delta a i can write directly also but let me write in detail a delta a means a union a minus a intersection a what is a union a a and a intersection a is also a. and a minus a is empty set which is nothing but the zero element so that is we have a plus a is equal to zero in the same way you can prove that i mean it is true in both the ways so this means a is the negative of itself for any set a belongs to the given power set okay so the most important thing here we want to mention is for any element for any element a in the power set that is any element in the ring p of s uh, we have a square if i find a square what is the meaning of a square a square means a multiplied by a in a ring and what is the operation of multiplication in this particular example it is intersection so a intersection a and that is equal to a so that is we have a square is always equal to a for every a belongs to the given ring that is p of s so i can say that this p of s comma plus comma dot is a boolean ring so this is another example of a boolean ring okay and if you have some knowledge about uh, the mathematical logic concepts that what is the statement what is the meaning of uh, conjunction disjunction then you can have another interesting example that i will not discuss in detail just write the statement here that uh, let capital r be the class of or be the set of all statements you know what is a statement a statement is a sentence which we can say without any hesitation or any ambiguity that it is true or false and you have the whole uh, set of um, say results and uh, say uh, the definitions about uh, the this operations like what is the meaning of uh, say let me write here you know this uh, p or q p and q and uh, not p and so on you know all these notations this is conjunction disjunction and uh, say negation okay so we define uh, and there is one more thing that is called xor exclusive or this is called p xor q okay that means either p is true or q is true then only p x or q will be true otherwise in any other case it is always false so if r is the set of all statements then we define uh, two operations define two binary operations as follows as follows the first one is uh, addition that is we define p plus q as p x or q that this or means exclusive or x or means exclusive or what is the meaning of exclusive or exclusive or means one of the statement is true but not both okay and uh, second thing is uh, 
P dot Q we define as P mid Q. This is also known as mid operation. This and or mid, it is known as and or mid. This is known as or or join. This symbol is known as join. This symbol is known as meet also. Okay. That is conjunction and this is known as disjunction. There are various names in different uh, types of uh, say concepts. So P dot Q multiplication of two statements we define as P and Q that is conjunction of P and Q. Okay. Then you can prove that uh, the set R plus dot is a ring. This is a ring. Not only that, uh, it is a Boolean ring. Okay. Also, it is a Boolean ring. Why it is now very simple? Because uh, you know that P square means A square or P square in, in this case is uh, just this thing p dot p means p and p and p and p is p because if you have some knowledge of uh, this statement logic uh, you must be knowing that these operations or uh, this uh, join and um, meet operations are idempotent operations idempotent means uh, you know a star a is equal to a then star is called idempotent if it is true for every element so it, they are idempotent binary operations this can be proved very easily with the help of a truth table okay so p square is equal to p and therefore i can say that uh, uh, this uh, is a boolean ring okay so this is an explanation why it is a boolean ring so i gave you three examples of boolean rings okay you can prove all this in detail what i'm interested in is to prove one or two very simple and basic results about boolean ring so first uh, theorem in this uh, direction let r plus dot be a boolean ring be a boolean ring okay then prove the following through the following. The first thing is this, that uh, if we take any element, then uh, we can show that, um, say, a plus a is always equal to 0 for every a belongs to R. This can also be written as, that is, every element every element in R is its own negative, its own negative element. That is, A is equal to minus A for every A belongs to R. Okay. Secondly, prove that R is a commutative ring. So that means every Boolean ring is always commutative. Okay. In that case, I have to show A dot B is equal to B dot A for all A and B belongs to R. So this is my aim in this uh, theorem about uh, Boolean ring. Okay. So what is the Boolean ring? It is a ring in which uh, A square is equal to A is true okay so let us prove the first one why a plus a is zero so proof let a be any element in the ring that is arbitrary element it is given okay then i can write uh, say a plus a which is also an element of the ring r a plus a whole square is equal to is equal to a plus a into a plus a because 
you know the meaning of x square is x into x in any ring and a plus a is an element of the ring r because r is closed with respect to addition okay and uh, since it is a boolean ring now let me simplify this first what i'm going to do is i multiply it in this order remember we are not given that the operation is commutative so i cannot write directly i must write a dot a plus a plus a dot a plus a and again using the distributive law we get a dot a plus a dot a plus a dot a and plus a dot a that means a square a square a square everywhere and uh, we are in the boolean ring so each of this is equal to a because r is a boolean ring r is a boolean ring okay on the left hand side uh, what i can write here is uh, a plus a whole square a plus a whole square is equal to a plus a but a plus a whole square is equal to a plus a because we know that x square is equal to x in the boolean ring in the boolean ring so i am replacing the left hand side by a plus a so what i will get is a plus a just putting the value of a plus a whole, a whole square is equal to a plus a and the right hand side is a plus a plus a plus a now we know that the ring is a group with respect to addition so i can use the cancellation law and cancel or add minus a on both the sides two times so this will be cancelled and uh, say what i will get is uh, zero is equal to a plus a that is a is equal to minus a and since a is arbitrary this is true for every a belongs to r so we have proved this very very important result about boolean ring let us go to the next uh, result to prove r is commutative ring every boolean ring is commutative what i have to show is a into b is equal to b into a so let me start with any two elements a and b belong to r be arbitrary be arbitrary okay what i want to prove is a dot b is equal to b dot a and for proving this i start like this as a and b belongs to r i can say that a plus b also belongs to r because r is a r is a ring so it is closed with respect to say addition now since a plus b is an element of the ring r i can write x square is equal to x for every x belongs to r since r is a boolean ring so by definition a plus b square is equal to a plus b because x square is equal to x is true for every x belongs to r and now i am simplifying uh, this thing say uh, this uh, side i can write as a plus b this i am writing as it is and a plus b whole square i am writing as a plus b into a plus b writing this here and then expanding using the distributive law we can write a into this and b into this so that will give us a dot a plus b plus b dot a plus b okay and again using the distributed law a dot b plus a dot a plus a dot b plus b dot a plus b dot b okay remember i cannot write a b is equal to b a because i cannot use commutativity actually we are proving uh, the commutative law in this problem so we have this thing a plus b is equal to this so that gives me a plus b is equal to a square plus a b plus b a plus b square but in the boolean ring i can replace a square by a and b square by b so i am writing this a square is equal to a and uh, b square is equal to b so what is proved 
we have proved that uh, <coughs> here we are using the fact that x square is equal to x. So now I can cancel uh, a and b from both the sides. This a will be cancelled with a and this b will be cancelled with b. So I will get ab plus ba equal to 0. Or I can say that is ab is the negative of ba. So this is very very important result. Actually we wanted to prove ab is equal to ba but in this case we are getting ab is equal to minus ba. Okay. Now, here I start this way. For the given elements A and B, if I write uh, the A dot B, or let me write uh, in a different way, I'm going to call this way. Let me not, uh, let us make it simple directly. I can prove here AB is equal to minus B. And we are in a ring, so I can write a into b is equal to minus b times this right hand side I can replace by minus b into a because of uh, a theorem we have proved in the earlier lectures. So this I can replace this way, and this implies a into b is equal to b into a because in the Boolean ring, in the first part, by the first uh, part, we know that a is equal to minus a or x is equal to minus x for every element in the ring. So for minus b I can replace it by plus b. x is equal to minus x for every x belongs to the Boolean ring. So this proves the required result. Okay. So thus, thus R is commutative ring. Every Boolean ring is always a commutative ring. Okay. And uh, further, I can say from this uh, first result, a plus a equal to 0. Yes, you know, a plus a equal to 0 means 2 times a equal to 0. You know that thing. a plus a means 2a. So I can write in a different way also. That is 2 times a equal to 0 for every a belongs to R. Or you can say that the order of the element A uh, with respect to the operation of addition is 2 in the Boolean ring. Every element is of order 2 in the Boolean ring. Or its additive order is 2. Okay. So this is about uh, definition and uh, example of Boolean ring. In the next lecture, we are going to introduce another uh, important concept of uh, ring and that is known as characteristic of ring and finally we'll prove some more problems so thank you have a nice day